Adventures in high school. Yeah, we're making a school stories video, which is, you know, the most basic kind of story you can ever make into a video. Now, honestly, I've been wanting to make one of these videos for a very long time, but I just never had any good stories since my school was, you know, boring. <laughs> However, I've grown from that. I've left my middle school years behind me, and I've finally entered a new era in my life. High school. And honestly, just only a few weeks into this new experience of my life, I think I can confidently make a video about it. So... Let's get started. But before we begin, I must make a quick disclaimer. This script was written back in September because I got bored and wanted to practice my writing. I never thought I'd use it for a video because back then, I did quit. But you know, yeah, things change and now here we are, halfway through the school year and I'm telling stories about like the first few weeks. Thanks for understanding and back to the video. So before we could even start school, we had to do something called orientation because it's a new school, new layout, new teachers, new everything practically, and we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. Now if you don't know what orientation is, then let us look at Urban Dictionary, shall we? According to the first result, orientation is the non-existent plot of land your racist grandfather thinks Asian American oriental people should have to live and work on. Oh, wait, wrong definition. Maybe a written dictionary wasn't the best option. No, okay, here's the definition I'm looking for. Orientation is a chance for students to learn how things work at their new school and meet other students as well as faculty and staff members, aka teachers. So I woke up after getting five hours of sleep and I missed the bus. Oh, mother Turns out the buses came earlier than we were told because a lot of other people had a similar experience. I eventually got to school and I found my friends that I didn't see all summer because they have prejudiced parents who have nothing better than pulling a Rapunzel and locking their kids up for the summer. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so we can play Uno. No. Why not? First of all, I hate playing Uno with you. And two, I'm not allowed to leave this castle. Also, my name is not Rapunzel. It's Salsa, you purple prick, you jill hole. Jeez, what a bitch. I went up to them and said hi, but they were looking at me in shock. You see, I have long hair, and over the summer, I got it cut. Damn! Bro looking mad fine. Bro got that riz on God on God. Wood smash. What? It wasn't anything too major, but apparently it was the end of the world to my friends because they gave me the <laughs> face. After getting our schedules, I got to find out that I had no classes with my friends. <laughs> So that's nice. We then had to go to the gym where some teachers gave us a welcome. Although the microphone was kind of buggy, so it kind of sounded like they had a lisp. So it was a little funny. All right, students, I know you're all very excited to be here. <laughs> Excuse me, who thinks this is funny? <laughs> <laughs> then they made us chant, our class is the power year, which is not even close to true. It's not even remotely. Our class is kind of just a mixed bag. It has good kids, bad kids, but I definitely don't think we're kind of the power year, you know? Finally, after some long chants and my ears bleeding a tiny bit, we finally got to go to our homeroom, and we'll name my teacher Miss Bruno. She's a very nice teacher, and I gotta get used to her because, well... Because I have to deal with her for the rest of my life. No, but really, I have to deal with her until graduation. Meaning if I get on her bad side, there is no going back after that. Huh? She gave us a tour of the school, and while we were on it, a teacher stood in the hallway and asked if we were excited for high school. Me and another student, as being the most excited and ecstatic of them all, said, no, not really. That's great! We laughed at that one. After the tour, we got to see our lockers, and after that, I wanted to look for the Spanish hall because we didn't pass it during the tour. I brought my friend Kai, and we made our way there, and then we found it. After that, though, God, I, d I don't even know why, but we got lost. I kept telling Kai that I got this, and I know what I'm doing, and I'm obviously the greatest one around, and she said, Cut it with the lies. We both know you're clueless. I don't know why you continue to think that you know everything when you obviously don't. Stop being such an arrogant snot. We made it back eventually. Huh. Alright, so on the board, that means it's L1 School 0. And that is about the end of orientation. Huh. 
You thought I was gonna say the end of this video, didn't you? No. No one even likes you. Who even are you? Drop Lee's OnlyFans right now. Well, no, I'm not done. I have more stories to tell. So I have Jim because you need one and a half credits of Jim to graduate. Hey, this is pretty fun. <laughs> and when I went to the locker room, I noticed a bit of an issue. You see, the boys' locker room is more of an open space because they don't expect people like me to not want to change in front of others. It also didn't help the fact that most people would actually take showers in there, so... Guys, I swear, it looked at me first! This place had no changing areas, and it sucked. Luckily, I was able to talk to the teachers, and I got permission to change in this other area. You're a coward. No. You're a little boy. No. No courage. You ask others to have courage. A coward. A piss-drenched coward. So, ha! L2, school zero. Speaking of gym, once I tried putting on hand sanitizer and it exploded on me. My face! My face! Also my leg, but MOSTLY MY FACE! Alright, fine, school, I guess you win this one. Now this next story is a big one, and I remember it very, very vividly. So it was the second week of school, and I'm packing my stuff up and getting ready to go to the bus. I stopped by my friend to fix my backpack and asked if was riding tonight. He said no, and I continued to get to my bus. But then I looked over, and the bus left me. Will you cut that out? Yeah, not a great thing to happen. So I kind of just stood around talking to my friends because I didn't know what to do. Eventually, everyone is gone except Henry, who said his father was picking him up. That'll be important later in the video. After talking for a few minutes, I finally tried going inside, but the doors were locked. So after blowing a hole into the school, I went to the office and told them my situation, and they told me to call the bus company. I called it, and they didn't pick up. I'm over here stroking my dick. Well, shit. They asked me if I knew my parents' number. I said no. Don't worry, they simply just got a new phone number and that I couldn't remember. In the end, I had an idea and I went back outside to Henry and he's gone. Huh? I ran over to see him walking to the front of the school. <gasps> I'm fine. I'm fine. Give me a second. <sighs> I told him about everything, and I asked him the question. Do you think your father can give me a ride home? Yeah, mm, sorry, yeah, no. He told me that he would see. His father eventually came, and I asked him if he could give me a ride home, and he thankfully agreed. And there I was, in my friend's car, getting a ride home because I missed the fucking bus. I thanked them, and when I got home, no one asked about it. So that's pretty good. Okay, school, because of that, I guess it's L2, school 3. Oh, hello there. You seem to have made it this far into the video. At this point, you probably know if you want to subscribe or not, so go do that. If you're enjoying this video so far, then consider hitting the like button. Oh, you were wondering what the song is? Well, it's just the song from an old game I used to play. You know, I guess you want to see the rest of the video, so I'll let you go. See you at the end card. Homecoming! It's ironic how much time can pass and yet it can be summed up in just a few pages. At this point, I'm in week 6 of school. It's a lot more than I was originally going to talk about, but I thought, why not? I'm the creative director here, plus a longer video is good for YouTube's algorithms, so... If you don't know what homecoming is, then here we go again to Urban Dictionary! Alright, last time I did this I got a horrible result because I looked at the first thing. So let's look at the second one instead. According to their second result, homecoming is a huge orgy involving multiple parties, grinding, and tons of drunk, horny teenagers that usually follows a football game. Well, though that's probably true, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, here we go. Homecoming is when a high school prepares and hypes up for a football game that happens in your town. 
Before homecoming even started, the school had to hype us up. First, kids in every grade decorated the locker base with their class color. What the hell is a class color? Oh, right, I need to explain what those are. So in my district, every grade has a color that you wear on one of the few dress-up days as a means to win something in the end if everyone participates. My class color is pink, so our locker bay <laughs> looked like Valentine's Day cranked up to 11. God damn it, I can't see anything! It's just pink! What the fuck is this? <laughs> Uh, oh. What happened to you? I walked into a piece of concrete and it hit my testicles. HA! Loser. <laughs> Every day of that week there would be a different dress up day. Monday was country versus country club. I chose country club and my friends said I looked gay. Even though the whole point of country club was to look preppy. Tuesday was tacky tourist. I dressed up as a Nebraska tourist while everyone else went with Hawaii. See guys? I told you I could be quirky. God, I can tell you're white. Wednesday was Generation Day, and since I was a freshman, I got to dress up like a baby. This was definitely the least participated day, since why would someone want to dress up like this? Ew, what the fuck is that? There was still a good amount of people who dressed up, though. However, some kids were sucking pacifiers, which was just... Ew. Oh, and I also got... But that's not important. Thursday was class color day and everyone just looked like cult Oogie, members. Oogie, Oogie, Oogie. Not only that, but Thursday was when the school played cock. Clash of classes, obviously. This was a day when students competed in random competitions. The main things were karaoke and dodge, <laughs> and I did none of them because I was busy. Busy as in sitting outside with my friends and convincing them that the sniffer is the superior mob in the mob vote. Ha <laughs> ha! Huh. Man, you know this video is late when the sniffer came out before this video. Finally, Friday came around and the day was pep fest. Basically, it was supposed to hype people up for the big game and it definitely worked. Not for me, of course. I don't give a shit about football. Also, I got to find out that all the grades were competing for the most points and they'd get them by participating in activities. Like those dress up days and cop. Clash of classes. Obviously. After all was said and done, our grade got third place. So, yeah, that kinda sucked. Finally, Saturday came around and it was time for the dance. The game was on Friday, and if you're wondering if I went, then the answer is no. I would have rather had fun with cock. And no, I don't mean Clash of Clans. I'll talk about Saturday because that is when the dance was, which doesn't make sense because homecoming dances are supposed to happen before the game to further hype kids, but whatever. I got on my suit and I was looking pretty dapper if I do say so myself. The best part though was that I was asked out by my friend. What, did you think I had the balls to ask someone out? Nah, I wouldn't have wanted to go ask someone out anyway. We went to the dance, and it was... Bad. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I don't regret going, but on that day, I got sick. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. And also, I'm introverted as fuck and get very drained from social interactions. The songs were fine, shout out to the D- Again, a homecoming dance was to hype students. Overall, high school has been one of the most wild adventures I've ever been on. The first semester isn't even over yet, and so much has happened in my life that it amazes me how this is just the start of a new journey. A journey with bumps and turns, and even when the journey looks as if it's at its lowest point possible, just remember, it can only go up from here. So originally, I had a script for the end card, but... I've realized that since it's so outdated and I've wanted to say a few things, I might as well just scrap it and just, you know, start saying my own things. First of all, obviously, if you couldn't tell, this video is just, just a little over four minutes long, you know, just, just a tiny bit, you know, it's it was a big project. I didn't expect to ever finish it. There were so many times that I was just thinking about, like, canceling the project, scrapping it, uploading what was there. But yeah, this is my biggest video I think I'll ever make. I don't think anything I make next would ever, like, beat this. Like, this is peak. And I know, like, the beginning of the video looked really bad, but that's because of how long it took. It took me, like, roughly around, like, almost a year, I guess, in a way. It took me almost a year to make this video come to life, and... 
you could progressively see like the increase of like animation quality and art quality. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I feel bad for all the times that I missed like made false promises like oh I'm posting it on June seventh, June seventeenth. Post it when I feel like it, you know. I feel bad that I did that, but I'm glad that I can finally, you know, get it out now. And I gotta say, this took so long to make. Like, I haven't slept for like 14 hours. I'm very tired, but I gotta keep going, you know. So, yeah, I'd like to thank Mation and Salsa for not fully giving up on me. I know they're probably, they're not able to watch the premiere right now, at least Mation isn't, but when they do, if they see this, hey guys, um, thank you for, one, being voice actors for the video, and two, just never, you know, thinking I couldn't do it, you know, you guys, you guys were there, supported me, made sure I didn't quit on it, kinda. I really hope YouTube sees this video and puts it in the algorithm because I worked very hard on this video, but you know, I can't control how well it does. So if anything, it might not even do good since I haven't posted it in three months. So yeah, there's that. When it comes to the future of this channel, I honestly don't fully know. I know I have a few ideas left, but I'm not sure what I'll do after those ideas, but I promise that I'll keep uploading whatever I feel like, and I hope you guys will stay there with me. So at this point, thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far, I congratulate you. No one ever makes it this far, and if you have, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. And stay garbage.